wife has been drinking with her high school lover and now she's pregnant. Hi everyone, welcome back to another Reddit cheating story. Before we start, please hit the subscribe button and click the notification bell so you won't miss another cheating story goes live. They were high school lovers and eventually dated all through college. They were going to get married but he ditched her at the last minute. He woke up and had a dream about traveling the world. He insisted it was the right idea, the right choice. My wife was understandably upset and they broke up. She's talked about him many times before. Two months ago he came back to town to settle down. He wanted to make amends and wanted to be friends. Of course I let my wife go. I didn't think she would cheat. Why would she? We're married and have been for eight years. Dude is a freeloader working as a tattoo artist and couch surfing still. Of course he also had a girlfriend. So, chances of cheating were likely not good. But, my wife has been spending way too much time with him. Way too much. They're practically with each other daily and she's being sneaky about it. Just a few weeks ago she went out drinking after work with some friends. She texted me saying she was spending the night with her best friend because she had too much to drink. I didn't press the issue but, that seems off. Her best friend has kids and is in a small home. She also wouldn't be out late without a babysitter. Of course her best friend later tells me she left early and my wife stayed behind with her ex drinking still. My wife denies it and says she stayed with another friend at the last moment. I call BS. Something is going on. She's been hanging out way too much with him. Then I get told he's taking her to lunch? She's cheating on me isn't she? Update, I want to believe my wife wouldn't cheat. Why would she? We have a great marriage and all her needs are fulfilled. I refuse to believe she would cheat. Boy am I dumb. Not only did she cheat but she's pregnant with his child. She swears it's mine but we haven't been trying for one. I've been using protection. I don't even care anymore. Here are some of the best comments from our community. You can get a DNA test in utero these days. Do ASAP because if you are in the birth certificate you will be on the hook for child support even if it's not yours. Lawyer up. ASAP. And make sure you get a prenatal DNA test to prove you're not the father so you won't be held financially responsible for the baby. As it was conceived within the marriage by law you're deemed the father until proven otherwise. I'm really sorry man. I know that must hurt a lot. There really are no words that I could put here that would change anything or make you feel better. Just know you deserve much better and there is better out there. Here is the second story. She cheated early on in the relationship and I don't we can go on. I, 18M, have been with my GF, 18F, for about 5 months. About a month ago she confessed to cheating on me 3 weeks into the relationship with a previous hookup. She said she went to his house to get her clothes and he invited her to drink, which she took him up on, and then I guess they had sex. She agrees that her being drunk isn't an excuse. But as she was talking to me about this, I saw a notification pop up on her phone from the guy she cheated with. He was asking if she's okay for some reason. She said it's because she told him she told me, but she kept that part secret until I saw his name on her phone. The second time he sent her a meme, so that led me to believe they were maintaining at least some sort of friendship if not more. About a week after her cheating she dumped me randomly. She now admits this was her running away from the problem. This was less than a month into it so I wasn't distraught, but I was fairly upset as I did like her a lot. She made some excuse about how she wasn't sure if she loved me and dumped me out of panic. I told her a month into a relationship is no time to be worried about love and we got back together the next day. Fast forward two months and she finally admits to cheating. I tried to dump her like three times but can't bring myself to do it. So we've been together another two months since and it feels like it's going really smoothly. I truly believe she regrets it. She says she regrets it more than anything she's done and the last two months have been perfect. The only problem is, internally I can't forgive her, and I think about what she did often and it makes me feel like I shouldn't be loving this girl. Here are some of the best comments from our community. She has shown you what kind of person she is, believe her. She is a lying, gaslighting opportunist, which will come back and bite you hard if you stay with such a person. Go with your guts, always. Listen to your instincts mate, she ain't worth it. Get the hell out before she humiliates you more and destroys your ability to trust. Resentment doesn't dwindle in time. It burns into a raging inferno. Do both you and her a favor and move on, 
or you'll be posting about this issue once a month for the next year or more until it consumes you. Here is the third story. I saw the conversation between her and her best friend. It broke me. My M24 GFF 24 of 4 years just cheated on me and we've just started a trip together. 3 weeks ago we started a trip which we've wanted to do for a long time. We're both big into surfing so we bought a van and me and her dad did it up so we could live out of it and the plan has been to travel around surfing. I've just found out that a week ago my girlfriend showered with a guy we've made friends with on the trip. Basically I felt that something was off with her the last few days but she kept telling me that she was fine so I had a look at her phone, not something I ever do. Her last text thread was to her best friend the day after this happened and it crushed me. I don't know all the details because I haven't confronted her yet but in the text she tells her friend she fucked up and had a shower naked with this guy and he grinded up against her. She let it happen but stopped it before it went any further because she came to her senses. She was remorseful in the texts but also wasn't at the same time. Her friend was being an asshole and joking about the whole thing and got my girlfriend to admit that the guy was big down there and that she liked it pressed against her. So here I am not knowing how the fuck this could have happened. How can someone go from being the best loving girlfriend to this in the blink of an eye? I don't want to talk to my friends about this because I've been going on about this trip for so long and then this happens not even a month in. Advice on how I should handle this? I don't want to just end our relationship without getting some outsider's input. Here are some of the best comments from our community. Cheating is cheating, you have to decide if you can live with the fact that she found it okay to do what she did. Even if you forgive her now, it'll likely always be in the back of your mind and that takes a toll on your mental health. Absolutely fucking not. You don't just accidentally end up naked in a shower with someone else grinding their junk against you like that. There was a series of events that led to that. Here is the fourth story. After 8 years together, she decided to do this. I am 28M and she is 30F. Been together for 8 years and the cheating happened in the last 3 months. She made a new friend in a hobby of hers, she is a biker, and they got close and kissed, made out. She is adamant that they didn't have sex but I am just going ahead with the belief that yes they had sex. She ended it on her own but didn't confess. I was informed by the partner of the other guy. I am feeling emotionally numb, not angry or sad but just numb. So it's really hard to gauge my own inclinations here. She has never cheated before and we have a very good relationship both sexual and emotional. So maybe it will be better if I try to mend our relationship before nuking it? She has been distraught and is willing to do anything to repair our relationship. She says she now knows with 100% certainty that she wants to spend her life with me and will do anything to prove it. I am yet to tell anyone else of the cheating, so I can't go to my usual sources for advice. Here are some of the best comments from our community. She didn't tell you? But yet you are sure she has never cheated before? Why are you so sure of that? If his partner didn't tell you, you wouldn't know about this one either. If it was just a stupid kiss that meant nothing and nothing else she would have told you herself and apologized and maybe that could be salvaged. But someone else had to tell you, she would have kept it from you forever probably. Can you forgive that? I know you're numb but maybe this is the best time to make that decision since you're not emotional yet. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe and turn on the notification bell for any future cheating stories.